Permanent Ink by Maxine on AO3. Chapter 18. What about Hanzo Maki? Nope. Naki Shinzo? Who? Matsuru Akaya. Those are all girls, Katsuki complained. He ducked beneath a tree branch and then, after thinking about it for half a second, reached back to hold it out the way for Deku to pass through. Deku grinned at him briefly before a complicated look washed over his face. Ojiro Yushi? What the fuck? No. Katsuki scolded back at him. Why that loser? Because basically every girl in class had a crush on him, Kachan, Deku said dryly. He got, like, eight confessions on Valentine's Day in third year. The hell that's gotta do with anything. Nothing, I'm just saying he was decent looking. I never noticed. Deku hummed. Mmm, you remembered him, though. I remember that he was lame, Katsuki said. He squinted a little, and that he played soccer. But you don't remember Nacha Shinso? Why should I? She also played soccer, Deku said with a soft laugh. She was really pretty and nice. She smiled at me once. Katsuki snorted. Wow, Deku, he said, and the other boy flushed. Um, forget I said that. Absolutely not. Katsuki threw him a smirk, and Deku pouted at him. But they felt quiet for a moment as they made their way across some rock that looked like it could have been a slippery from the brief rainstorm that had passed through the night before. They were about three quarters of the way through the trail Katsuki had picked for them. Or at least three quarters of the way through the first half, which would have left them at an overlook at the summit. Katsuki adjusted his backpack over his shoulders and waited for Deku to fall into step with him again before asking, Why so fucking curious? Deku shrugged. No reason, really. I just figured there had to be someone you found cute in junior high. I told you, Katsuki said. I never paid attention to that shit before. Not even subconsciously, apparently, Deku said, sounding somewhat fascinated, as though Katsuki was some kind of fucking science experience that he was studying. Katsuki huffed. It never mattered to me before. It matters now. Girls definitely aren't your thing, though. Deku's eyebrows were arched as he glanced at him. Katsuki felt his face grow warm for some damn reason. I guess, he murmured. I like both, Deku continued blatantly. I figured that in second year, though I think I probably always knew, but second year was when I realized it was a thing, like that there was some kind of label you could use to say you were actually attracted to. And which hero brought on this epiphany? Katsuki drawed. Deku spurted. What makes you think it was a hero? Maybe it was Urachi Train. Katsuki just eyed him, knowingly for a moment. Deku set his jaw and stubbornly tilted his hold on his gaze. But it didn't take more than a few seconds for him to crumble. Fine, he mumbled. Fat gum. First time I saw him on TV in a skinny form. Katsuki barked out a laugh. Holy shit, I'm telling Kirishima. No! Deku cried, grabbing his arm and shaking him. Kachan, you can never... That idiot probably runs his mouth, too. Imagine teaming up with Packham, and then, and he just knows you had a dumb, adolescent crush on him. Achan! Deku winced. It was a, wasn't a crush. Don't say it like that. Deku shot him a glare, but it was like having a disgruntled puppy making upset noises at him. Katsuki just snickered. Anyways, Deku grumbled. I'm sure a lot of heroes have to deal with that when they get new sidekicks. We all grew up having posters of them on our walls. Some more than others, Katsuki said. He bumped into Deku's shoulders, with his own before quite abruptly halting in his tracks. Wait. Deku kept going for a few more steps until he realized Katsuki had stopped walking. He turned to back to look at him. Katsuki? Did you have a crush on All Might? Katsuki determined. And Deku's eyes went wide as saucers, his face turning brightly red. No! 
Oh my god. No, Kachan, no. You totally did, you sick little perv. I didn't. I swear. I didn't. He's... Kachan, he's old! Katsuki bursted out laughing again, to the point that he was actually had to clutch at his stomach as he bent over a little. Deku made a strangled sound and stomped his foot like a three-year-old, but he'd gone oddly quiet by the time Katsuki had calmed down. Body shaming and age shaming, Katsuki said. He chuckled as he straightened up again. Deku's face hadn't lost its color yet, and his cheeks tinted pink as he stared at Katsuki. His mouth was hanging open the tiniest bit. Katsuki lifted an eyebrow at him. Earth to Deku? Oh, um, Deku spun around, determinedly putting one foot in front of the other again. It's nothing, and I'm not shaming anyone. That gum's equally as cool when he's not skinny. Uh-huh, sure. So, tell me more about how you were into All Might, Katsuki said, teasing, as he moved to catch up with the other boy. I wasn't any more into him than you were, Deku shot back, darkly. Gross, he's our teacher, Deku. You started it. I don't know what you're talking about. Deku grumbled under his breath and marched onwards, but Katsuki kept up his pace easily enough. He let Deku scoo for a moment, before he really had seemed to get over it quickly enough, and it wasn't long before he had thrown another name at him. Yagi Hisoshi? Katsuki rolled his eyes. He... Then he paused, tipped his head as he thought about it. Actually, yeah, he was all right. You think Yatsuki Hoshi was all right? Deku made a disbelief sound. I used to see him going on runs around the neighborhood after we started UA. He's more than all right, Kachan. <laughs> Why don't you marry him then? Deku ignored him. We were paired together in a project in third year, he said as though he was actually considering calling the motherfucker up or some shit. Katsuki tried not to bristle too much. So at least he knows my name. I've been to his apartment, too. You've been to his apartment? Katsuki repeated. What the fuck? For the project. Deku glanced back at him, then a little grin. Kachan, it was two years ago. Like I give a shit? You sure sound like you give a shit. Katsuki humps. Your ears are broken. Careful, this part gets really steeped here. They focus on the trail for the next several minutes, never getting through underbrush and around trees with trunks wider than they were. Birds squealed overhead and sunlight trickled through the thick copy bobbling of the forest floor. With small patches of yellow, they were lucky to have the shade protecting them because it was hot as fuck, though thankfully not overly humid. Katsuki was still drenched with sweat, and Deku didn't look much better, but he seemed happy enough. He was gazing up at the tree chops, eyes flittering back and forth whether he caught some sight of wildlife. There was a sharp incline in the path, and they had to both pain a little before they got past it, but that didn't slow them down any. They didn't need to. They were used to workouts and training classes. They were far more grueling than a hike could ever be. This, this was fun. It'd been way too long since Katsuki had made time to come out on the trails. His dad couldn't keep up with the pace that Katsuki liked to go at these days, but that problem didn't exist with Deku. The other boy was right there with him, hopping over fallen logs and squealing through the muddy spots. Katsuki was so fucking thrilled it was actually embarrassing. He'd never been able to get Kirishima or Kaminari to, get, to come up here with him, though to be fair he only suggested it maybe like twice and he hadn't pushed because he hadn't exactly great at an opening up, and hiking just happened to be something that he was kind of really into, which for some fucking reason made it hard to push onto others. It was like he didn't want to deal with the rejection of it or some shit like that. Dumb as hell, really. But it was better that it was Deku, anyways. So, who was the first person you did find attractive? Or maybe not. Maybe next time, Katsuki would just come by himself, for fuck's sakes. Dinky, I guess, he said. Because it was true. But also because he knew it would annoy Deku, whether the boy wanted to admit it or not. Sure enough, Katsuki watched at the corner of his eyes as a glow settled on Deku's face. You sure it wasn't like 
Kirishima or anyone else? Deku asked for a moment. Ew. No, definitely not. Deku sighed. Why Kaminari then? Because I was regularly making out with him, Katsuki said. Deku's frowned, his hands tightened around his backpack straps, over his shoulders, and for once, Katsuki took pity on him. It wasn't after we started messing around, Deku, jeez. I wasn't into him before that, fuck. I'm gonna keep saying it until it sticks in that dumb head of yours, but I really don't give a shit what most people look like. Even me? What? Deku cleared his throat and shifted his gaze away when Katsuki looked at him. Do you think I'm... What? Katsuki asked again. Hot. Deku stayed quiet looking somewhat awkward, and Katsuki let out an irritated sound. Not that it fucking matters, but... You can't say that because you're gorgeous, Deku interrupted, brows drawn down and his cheeks puffing out as he huffed. Katsuki stumped on his next step and damn near tripped over a tree root. I hit some kind of genetic jackpot having you as a soulmate, but you're just stuck with... this. He waved a hand up and down in front of his chest, gesturing like he was meant to include the entirety of himself, and Katsuki's brain literally pulled some sort of record smash maneuver. What the fuck are you talking about? I know I'm boring and kind of plain, Deku. Katsuki stepped in front of Deku and turned to face him. You're not plain. Deku gave him a mullish look. I've got weird hairs and freckles. I like your freckles, Katsuki cut in. Deku blinked at him, and Katsuki immediately decided that, as much as he liked Deku, he also still hated him a little because he was actually making him say some stupid shit. Don't you own a damn mirror? Yes, Deku said wearily. Katsuki glared up at him. Try looking in it sometime? You're an idiot. You're... Katsuki trailed off. He let his gaze... Dipped lower, lingering on Deku's shoulders, then his biceps, where he had his sleeves pushed up, before dipping further than that to take in his tone leg beneath his shorts. He was wearing. By the time he dragged his eyes up to meet Deku's, Deku's had gone red and was practically steaming at his ears. Katsuki coughed a little, quick snapping his head around to stare at a nearby tree. You're fine. Thanks. Deku's voice was faint, almost breathless. Katsuki spun around and started walking again. After a moment, he heard Deku rushing to catch up. Sorry, I know it's stupid. You're not actually worried about it, are you? Um, about what? Your looks or whatever. Katsuki glanced over. You don't actually give a shit? Deku scratched the back of his head. Not usually. I guess sometimes. I can't help it, but... Most of the time, I'm not even thinking about it. So, why now? I just... Deku took a breath and excelled slowly. I don't know, thinking about soulmates and you and what you even like. I like you, Katsuki said, frowning. What's so hard to understand about that? Deku chuckled a little. Everything. He met Katsuki's eyes. It's not a confidence thing. I don't think I'm unlikable. It's just weird to hear you say you feel that way all of a sudden. It's not all of a sudden, Katsuki said, frustration creeping in his tone. It's... Deku, fucking... It's been... Three months, I know, Deku supplied. But Katsuki shook his head. It's not just that. It wasn't just three months of coming to terms with everything, okay? I was actively watching him and thinking shit through and not just imagining what being with you was like. It was a whole damn process. Oh. Katsuki drew to a stop again, propping his hands to his hips and tilting his head up to look at the trees overhead as the leaves rustled lightly in the wind. There was a squirrel darting around one of the branches, and he idly watched it for a few seconds. I didn't just roll over and accept this shit, he finally murmured. I didn't give up and decide to let it happen. I want to be with you. Deku was silent for a moment. When he spoke, there was something gently amusing in his voice. You like my freckles. I hate your stupid freckles, 
Katsuki said instantly, eyes dropping down to Deku's. Deku just gave him a wide smile, looking pleased. You know, I literally stormed into Denki's room one day, yelling about how pissed I was that you were actually hot, because I just noticed. Ears was there. I think that's when she figured it out. You did not, Deku said, eyebrows halfway up his forehead. Katsuki nodded. Absolutely fucking did. And they both agreed with me, so you can knock it the fuck off with that shit about how you're plain looking or whatever. Deku let out a flustered sounding laugh. Katsuki reached out to grab his hands, pulling him back along the trail, and Deku let him, even though they were both a sweaty mess. When was that? Deku asked. He shifted his grip, linking their fingers together with Katsuki's. And Katsuki really wasn't sure how or when he'd become this kind of sap who enjoyed shitty hand-holding, but this was like the third time this had happened, so apparently he was fucking into it. Fuck. After we were sparring one time, he answered. You laid me out flat and my brain just went shit. That is so typical, Deku said, head ducking, his shoulders still shaking as he kept giggling. You would get turned on by fighting. Katsuki wasn't sure if he was supposed to be offended by that or not. It wasn't the fighting, he said, which Deku just snorted at. Katsuki gave Deku's hand a tight squeeze in warning, but then rolled his eyes. Fine, it wasn't just the fighting, he admitted in a low grumble. You're just, you're strong. Like that was supposed to explain anything. Deku took in stride, though. Kind of you to notice, he crippled. He was watching Katsuki out of the corner of his eyes. You told me once that soulmates are bullshit, Katsuki grunted. I did. Do you still feel that way? What's with the fucking interrogation? It isn't one, Deku said, shaking his head. And this isn't me doubting your, uh, feelings. I'm just trying to understand you better. His voice went soft towards the end. I think we spent enough time not understanding each other. Fair, Katsuki sighed, then scrunched his nose up, making a face. I don't like feeling like I'm not in control. Right, that checks out. I really don't like it. Katsuki said again, just to emphasize the point. I fucking hate it. And soulmates are the very definition of not having a choice. I guess that's one way of looking at it, Deku murmured. I wouldn't have tried to force you into anything. No shit, Deku. You think I don't know that? Katsuki made an irritated sound under his breath. It's stupid, and a moot point, probably, because fucking knows if I would have ever figured it out without my word kicking my ass into gear. But this was my decision. I'm choosing to be with you because that's what I want. Maybe being soulmates is the reason I've never been able to shake you my entire damn life. Maybe you've been linked in some way, but fuck all that. I made up my mind about this. Deku swayed into him as they walked and Katsuki released his hands, shifting so that he could wrap his fingers around Deku's forearm. Instead, neither of them were wearing patches today. Deku's skin felt hot, and Katsuki imagined he could feel the writing on Deku's arm burning against his palm. Careful, Deku said lightly. That was almost romantic. Gross, Katsuki grumbled automatically. Such a grand declaration. You might just swoop me off my feet after all. Ugh, die already. You chose me. Deku twisted his arms and Katsuki's grip, turning it so that his words were visible between Katsuki's fingers. See, that's why I don't mind what this says. It's the stuff you're saying now that matters. Katsuki's eyes fell to where they were connected. He let his hand slide back down and curl around Deku's again. If you ended up with any of the sappy bullshit I've said lately... I'd probably make you cut your fucking arm off. Oh my god. Imagine if it said something about all for one. Katsuki snorted. Good thing you got your shoot style. Goodbye forever, arm. Deku agreed, sullenly. Anything to protect your one true love secret? Katsuki said, in an arch tone, and Deku yanked his free hand so that he could shove at Katsuki's arm with a scowl. Katsuki snickered and knocked his shoulder into Deku's 
which might have resulted in some kind of dumbass slap fight had they overlooked that they were heading towards not becoming visible as they rounded a bent in the trail. You're really trying to make it impossible for me to look at All Might in the eyes ever again, Deku grunted, still pushing half-heartedly at Katsuki. That sounds like your problem. Kachan! Katsuki bumped purposely into him one more time and then quickened his pace. Hurry up, Deku. We're almost there, and I'm fucking starving. There were a few large rocks around the small clearing that they ended in, flat enough that they were easy to sit on. Katsuki dropped his backpack on one and then wandered over to the edge and looked out across the rest of the forest. Deku followed after him, and he dug several water bottles out of his balloon backpack and handed two of them to Katsuki when they stepped up beside him. Wow, he murmured, shading his eyes so he could take in the view. The expansion of the green below was impressive. In the distance, a lake glimmered beneath the sun, and branching off from that was a river that twisted in a way through the valley. The outlook stretched for miles. All signs of the city life were absent. Worth it? Katsuki asked. He tipped his head back and unbent one of his bottles. Dumping half of its contents on his face before chucking the rest. Water dripped from his hair and trickled down his cheeks, which felt refreshing in the sweating July heat. He used the bottom of his shirt to wipe some of it away and then opened the second bottle to drink some more. Deku was watching him, the water bottle in his own hand unmoving in his mouth. Very worth it. Katsuki arched an eyebrow at him and Deku quickly cleared his throat and took a swig. Thanks for bringing me, Kachan. Think it was your suggestion. Katsuki pointed out, shrugging. Still, it was a nice getaway from everything, just the two of us. We can do something you like next time. I like this, Deku said, and Katsuki rolled his eyes. I mean, like, next time we go out. Oh, Deku blinked at him, a grin tugging at the corner of his mouth. You mean I could pick up our next date? Katsuki damn near choked on his water. This is not a date, he wheels. In between his sudden coughing and hacking, it's an outing. Kinda seems like a date, Deku said. An out song sort of hit to his voice. Katsuki felt his face go warm. It's not a date because we're not doing shit like that yet because we're taking it slow. He agrees. Remember? Deku's eyes dropped as he hummed. Right. Yeah. He fitted it with his bottle in hand for a moment, rolling it between his palms. Can I, uh... Katsuki waited for a moment, watching bemusled as color sleeped into Deku's cheeks. Can you what? About that, Deku said. His shift gazed off to the side, looking out over the valley again, and then abruptly his eyes snapped back to Katsuki's with such a sealed, determined look in their depths that something in Katsuki's gut flipped. My turn for a grand declaration. Grand what now? Katsuki asked. His voice had kicked up a notch or two, entirely too high for some goddamn reason. Even his heartbeat seemed to be snickling along a little more quickly all of a sudden. It was like his body sensed something was coming, but his brain hadn't caught up yet. They were already standing pretty close to each other, but Deku inched forward a bit more. I know what I said, he murmured. I know what I've been saying about needing time and all that. It's... I don't think I actually do. Not really. Deku, Katsuki started to say, but Deku just shook his head. I know what I want, he said. Deku, Katsuki said again. Don't. We've got all the time in the fucking world. You don't have to. I want to, Deku insisted. His eyes were blazing. I said I needed time because giving in seemed too easy, but... And I messed up, Katsuki reminded him. You said it was messed up, that it was too easy and it made you feel pathetic. I was just struggling with the autonomy of all, Deku said, and I'm trying to reconcile, be happy with it, with everything else that we've been through. But we talked about that, and what am I even holding back for now? He let out a small, breathless laugh. Appearances? Or like, am I worried someone's going to judge me? For what? Deciding I want to be with my soulmate? Deku? Katsuki tried one more time, but resolve was slipping. His hands clenched around his bottle he was still holding. 
Katsuki, Tega said. And Katsuki stared at him, wide-eyed. I want you. I choose you too. Something squeezed in Katsuki's chest. His breath went wanky, turned uneven and shaky. That's your big declaration, huh? Tega smiled, leaned in a little. Yes, he said simply. My epic romantic reveal. Cheesy as fuck, Katsuki murmured. He dug his head as Deku lifted his chin, eyes lowering to find the gentle curve of the other boy's lips. Not exactly a reveal if I saw it coming. Jerk, Deku said. His grin stretched wider. He brought a hand and rested it on Katsuki's shoulders, curling around the strap of his tank top and tugging at it a bit. At least I picked a nice backdrop for it. A rush of tingles spread from where Deku was touching him, and Katsuki shouldered despite the heat of the day. There was a flutter in his belly and something pulsing behind his ribcage that was equal parts eager and nervous. You got lucky, you mean. His voice was a warm rumble. Since I picked the trail? Deku rolled his eyes. Whatever, he said. Shut up and kiss me already. Holy shit. Not like he could say no to that. Katsuki swooped forward, closing the slight distance that remained between them so he could press his mouth against Deku's. And Deku immediately arched into him as Katsuki let his fingers dig back into the other boy's ponytail. Their lips slid together as if they'd been doing this for ages. The lack of hesitation between them actually was a little surprising. It made Katsuki hungry for more, desperate to feel every inch of Deku against him. Deku slipped a ham around the palm of Katsuki's neck, absently stroking at the skin and the sweat-damped hair there. Katsuki shivered all over again before pushing even further into Deku's space. Deku made a soft sound and pulled back just the slightest bit, panting again Katsuki's mouth for only a breath or two. Then he kissed Katsuki again, almost urgently this time, arms wrapping around Katsuki's waves and melting their chests together. Katsuki heard the sound of a bottle hitting the ground and only realized it was because he dropped it after he found himself cupping Deku's face with both of his hands, thumbs pushed against his freckles on his cheeks that was so fucking stupidly into. His lips parted this time, tongue sneaking out, and Deku was ready and waiting for him. Katsuki had to bite back a little groan as he could feel building in his throat. Something sparked up his spine and there was a burst of warmth in his stomach, spreading quickly throughout all of his limbs as Deku opened his mouth and their kiss deepened. Katsuki only broke away when he finally had to come up for air. He pressed his forehead against Deku's, their chest heaving breaths, imitating between them. Deku was clinging on to the back of his shirt now. He almost lost his water bottle somewhere along the way, too. Fucking hell. Katsuki managed to get out. He carried his hands through Deku's hair again, since most of it seemed to have exploded out of his hairband by now. Probably Katsuki's fault. He was totally willing to take the blame there. But it was just something about those wild curls that always had Katsuki itching to sink his fingers into them. It was such a relief to be able to do that freely now. Deku pushed up onto his toes and found Katsuki again, pressing quick, firm kisses to his mouth. Katsuki's head was practically fucking spinning, but he chased after Deku every time he pulled away. What the fuck? What the fuck? It was like he couldn't get enough. He felt like a dehydrated man who had just been lent a spring for the first time in his entire fucking life. Every place Deku touched him burned, and there was a frizzing scent of needing pulling inside him, filling him, consuming him like nothing had ever before. His free hand had found Deku's waist, and gripped tight, tugging him closer. He fisted at his shirt, half attempting to push it out of the way entirely, but somehow relieved the urge in him. His forehead was still resting against Deku's, and gradually he let control seep back in forced himself to take deep breaths and remember where they were. That they were fucking outside in a public space and anyone else could come walking up that trail any second now. But fucking shit. Holy fuck. Fuck. God, that was... That, Deku started to say, 
still peppering kisses along Katsuki's lip, chin, cheeks, everywhere. It was really freaking intense. Yeah, Katsuki said in a choked tone. He slid his hand around and pressed lightly against Deku's stomach. Deku backed down, but Katsuki didn't let him go too far, immediately twisting his fingers onto the material of his shirt again. Was it like that for you before? Katsuki shook his head. Definitely not. Not even close. Kaminari said you were a good kisser, Deku murmured. He was staring at Katsuki's mouth, looking like he was about to fall right back into another kiss. So Katsuki made the extremely difficult choice to let go of him and step back. Trust me, it was not like that with him, he said, dragging a hand through his hair. God, his heart was so racing. Deku blinked. Something in his expression cleared before a curious light dawned in his eyes. Do you think it was a soulmate thing? Maybe. Katsuki nailed to pick up the bottles they dropped. I don't fucking know, but fuck, right? Right, Deku nodded. He thumbed a hand absently over his breath bone. Right. Wow. Is he the only other person you've guessed? Katsuki stood again and tossed Deku a look as he made his way back over to where they dumped their backpacks. What, you're going to interrogate everyone I've ever made out with and ask if I made them see stars too? No. Deku grumbled in a way that definitely meant, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Why is that weird? Katsuki rolled his eyes. It'll be a short list. Dinky's the only one on it. He plopped down onto the rock and dragged their backpacks over, shoving the empty bottles back into Deku's, and then digged around so that he could pull out the lunches he'd made for the rest of the food that he brought for the day. Deku wandered over and sat beside him. Really? Yep, Katsuki said, popping the pee. Started with him, gonna end with you. You don't even realize that you do that, do you? Deku said. When Katsuki glanced up to hand him one of the bento boxes, he noticed Deku's cheeks were flushed. Do what? You like... Deku waved his hand around. Unintentionally. Sorry. There's no word for it, but... Romantic. Fuck you, I'm not, Katsuki said immediately. The hell's that supposed to mean? You just say these things like, 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 how are you ever going to kiss anyone else? You just throw that out there like it's nothing, and I'm not supposed to get all flustered by it? Deku had gone fully red by now, gesticulating almost frantically, and Katsuki felt his own face growing warm in response as he scoffed. It's just the fucking truth, ain't it? He said, voice somewhat strained. I guess, said Deku loudly. Yes, but, I mean, you're so blunt and straightforward. You decide you want something and you're all in, no take backs. Because being a wishy-washy asshole is dumb as shit. Deku nodded. I know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's one of the reasons I don't want anyone. With us, I want to be all in, too. And I am all in. Katsuki eyed him, almost suspiciously for a moment. Don't push yourself for my sake, Deku. I'm not, he insisted. I'm not at all. You've always been confident, for better or worse. It was always something I admired about you. And now, I like that you're confident about this. Us. I like that you aren't hesitating. And I really like that you aren't afraid to say stuff that's actually sappy. Fuck off, Katsuki grumbled, shoving on a giddy ball in his face so that he had something to hide behind. He could even feel his ears burning up now. Accidentally is the goddamn truth. Deku smiled, duck his head so he could tuck into his own food. It's still sweet. Deku, I swear to God, Katsuki grumbled, and the other boy snickered a bit. All this over-fucking-kissing. Not like you're gonna do it at with anyone else in the future, right? So your damn list is only me and Roundface. Well, Katsuki's head shot up at that, and he found Deku looking shiftily suddenly. His narrowed his eyes at him. Are there other people on your list? He demanded. I mean, yes and no. Deku tipped his head thoroughly. 
carefully ignoring the owl-wide stare Katsuki was now pinning on him. The Rack is the only other person I've kissed for real. But some of us have played truth and dare and stuff. Some of us? Katsuki repeated like an idiot. Some of us. Who? What the fuck? When did this happen? A while ago, Kachan. Deku arced his eyebrow. Been happening as long as we've been in the dorms. You know, you didn't have to go to bed so early. If I'm missing by getting a healthy amount of sleep, fuck you very much. It's a bunch of lame-ass kissing with all losers, then whatever. It's not that serious, Deku said, chuckling. Technically, I guess my first ever kiss with was Ayama, but I'd probably still count Uraraka as my first. Katsuki gaped at him. Who the fuck? He said, and Deku just rolled his eyes. Ugh. Whatever. Who else? Most of my friends, Deku shrugged. Su, um, Todoroki, Uraraka before we actually started dating. Hold up. What? Katsuki sat up a little straighter and leaned away from Deku so that he could give him a full extent of his frontal gaze. Deku winced a bit, like he'd known this was coming. And he'd fucking should have. Fucking half and half? Are you shitting me? Todoroki? Kachan, don't fucking catch on me. You kissed fucking Icy Hot? And Dayo Mama, Deku said expressively. And Sue, and Todoroki. Careful, you're gonna explode your lunch. I'm gonna explode his fucking face. Oh my god, Deku murmured, rubbing the bridge of his nose. It was months ago. That asshole had no right. He had every right, Kachan. Were you just not gonna tell me? I'm telling you now. It barely even counted. It was hardly anything. I'm gonna murder him, Katsuki decided. And Deku just mumbled out another, oh my god. Eventually, Deku managed to successfully cut off Katsuki's ranting by planting an extremely thorough kiss on him that Katsuki allowed himself to be distracted by. And really, who fucking cared that that motherfucker, Candy Cane Wickwad, had done for half a second a million months ago in some bullshit game anyway? Deku was Katsuki's soulmate. Are you done now? Deku asked, hands curled around Katsuki's neck and nose buried in his hair at his template. Katsuki grunted. Never be done, he grumbled, but Deku's thumb was brushed absently at the soft skin behind his ear, and it was really hard not to melt into his touch. He huffed a little, but yes. You're not going to explode Todoroki when you see him on Thursday? Still undecided, Katsuki said, mostly just to hear that annoyed sound that he knew Deku would make. Deku pulled him back into an unimpressed look, and Katsuki leaned right back into a kiss anyway. Not gonna explode his ass, he said, when they broke it off again. You know, Deku murmured, even though we've known each other forever, there's still so much we don't know about each other. Katsuki let his chin rest on Deku's shoulder, I guess. That's why when I ask you all those questions, or when I tell you things you might not even want to know, I'm just... I want to know more. I want to know everything about you. And I want you to know me too was starting to click for Katsuki that the things Deku had been asking him all day maybe weren't so random after all. There was, in fact, a method to his madness, and really, he probably should have fucking known this. It was like he hadn't known about Deku's books, after all, and his prosperity writing down any fucking thing he found interesting. Deku liked knowing things. Of course, he wanted to know Katsuki. I feel like we know all the important things, Katsuki said. The big things. Deku nodded. Probably, but there's a lot of details in between the big things. Katsuki felt silent for a moment. He leaned forward to press a quick kiss to Deku's cheek before dislodging himself entirely and reaching for his lunch again. You never answered me before. About what type of date you want to go on? Deku's eyes lit up. Oh, okay, so actually, this isn't a date, but it's something I've always wanted to do after graduation. How would you feel about going to America and taking a road trip to the same place as all my visited? Katsuki arched his eyebrows. You're just going to keep giving me fuel, huh? He said, and Deku promptly flushed and smacked him on the thigh before he barreled on anyways, describing the trip that he had clearly had planned for ages and now wanted to invite Katsuki on. Or maybe 
he had always wanted Katsuki to go with him. Maybe they just hadn't been in a place before where he could actually ask. They talked for a while after that, trading stories back and forth, asking questions, listening to what the other had to say. It was probably the longest conversation Katsuki had ever had in his entire fucking life, but it was somehow as easy as breathing. Luckily, Deku dabbled more than he did, spinning off excitedly into long tales, no matter what prompt Katsuki gave him. Katsuki kept an eye on the sun as they shot the shit. Wanting to make sure they had plenty of time to go back down the trail and to the train station before it got too dark. Hey, come here, Deku said when they were finally getting ready to leave. Katsuki was busy shoving things into his backpack and making sure they hadn't left anything behind, but he followed Deku back over to the ledge. When called. What? Deku turned his back so he had the view behind him. He was fidgeting with his phone. Come here, he said. Lean in. I want a picture. Ugh, Katsuki grumbled. Why? Because, Kachan. And don't do the thing you do. Katsuki stepped up beside Deku and turned a bored look in on the phone, which Deku was now holding in front of them. Camera ready to go. The hell, what thing? He said, tending slightly towards Deku. You know, Deku was warm against the side and tipped his chin with a bright grin. All right, smile, he said, and he actually expected Katsuki to do such a thing. He tapped his phone screen a couple times, paused and turned and shot Katsuki a scowl. Kachan! What the fuck? Jeez. You're making a face. That's just how I look, Katsuki insisted. Although he curled up his lip, half-squinted eyes, baring teeth, and tongue sticked out like they were all natural and not some gruesome expression that he was cheerfully forcing onto his features any time he was within five feet of a camera. Deku gave him a somewhat masked expression, look as he experienced, and honestly, that was something. Okay, well, you just look like an ainly gremlin then. Whatever, you're into it. Katsuki tucked his arm around Deku's waist and soothed out his expression, letting his cheeks flush up against Deku's temple. You're the one who said I was gorgeous. Obviously a moment of insanity, Deku grippled but then lifted his phone again now that Katsuki was actually looking almost human. Katsuki rolled his eyes. Take the damn thing. I am! Deku settled back into a grin, easily enough, and quickly snapped a few more pictures. And after a moment, Katsuki even let out the corner of his mouth tug into a subtle kind of smirk. Oh, Deku said softly, staring at the last image as it popped on his screen. That's a good one. What are you doing? Katsuki asked, watching as Deku swept through a few screens and started typing something. Sending it to my friends. Lame, Katsuki murmured. He was eyeing the group chat. Deku pulled up. Your nerd squad? Todoroki and them, Deku corrected, giving Katsuki a look. Ida and Su and Udaraka. And Udaraka? Katsuki snorted. That no talking thing lasted long. Shut up, Deku murmured. She's in the chat. Send it to me, too. Deku paused, glancing at Katsuki. Yeah? Yeah, Katsuki said, nodding. Sure, might as well. All right. Deku ducked his head, but Katsuki could see the smile plain on his lips. Something stupid and fond and happy bloomed in his chest. Done. Ugh, okay. Fine, so maybe he was a fucking zap. But whatever, whatever! The phone needed a new background anyways. This was such a cute, like, chapter. I really liked it. The beginning, it was nice and sweet. They were going up the trail. It was it was really sweet and endearing to see them and how they interact. I Again, I really love the dialogue of this fanfic and of this writer. Like, I might check out some other fanfics that they write just because how good the dialogue is. And I would just love to see more of this dialogue, honestly. Honest to God. And the, the kiss. Let's talk about the kiss. Because that wasn't a kiss. That was a make-out sesh. That was not a kiss. That was a whole make-out session. I'm... If anybody ever kissed me like that, I'm sorry. But that's not a kiss. That's a make-out session. That is a make-out session. That was... That was intense. For me to read. 
For me to read, for me to say, that was intense. That was a makeout session. That was not a kiss. No fucking kiss is that intense and long. Anyway, this was a really cute chapter. I, I, they haven't made it official. I'm taking it as they're making it official, but I'm not sure. I don't understand, but you know what? They're both happy. <laughs> they can have their weird in a relationship, not a relationship. It's official, but not official. But we haven't really said it, but it's kind of official kind of thing. Um, I'm not one to judge, so <laughs> there it is, all out in the table. I'm, I, I find it really cute that Bakugo's gonna have that as his wallpaper. That is adorable. That is adorable. That is just adorable. I love that. <laughs> it's adorable. I am literally recording on Thursday. I'm recording for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday's video. Because tomorrow, early morning, I'm going off camping. And even if I do have service, I cannot take my laptop and then my mic and all my setup. Because it's it, it, literally my laptop, my big ass 12 inch laptop and my big as hell mic. Like this thing is huge. I cannot take that with me. So I'm trying to record everything today so that when we come back, uh everything you guys will still have your daily uploads you know so yeah i'm literally gonna end this video and go back to recording which is trippy i don't record that much actually no that's a lie i record a lot thursdays and mondays are like my main recording days where i like hella record those days and then throughout the week i maybe record one or two videos but mainly it's those two days that i record as always, make sure to eat, sleep, drink water, take your meds, have a wonderful day or night. Make sure to join our community server, link is in the description. Subscribe to see more of my content and thank you so much for watching.